Hi, it's Alicia Dougherty with the Dougherty Dozen. And I am going to take you on another grocery shopping haul. Yes, I just went shopping a week ago. This is every single week. I have to do this. I'm at a different Wegmans this week. It's a little bit of a smaller one. And I like it because it's raining right now. So I'm going to have to pull up to get the groceries loaded. And this place is covered where I can load in the groceries. So that won't get soaking wet. That's always a plus. This is going to be a slightly bigger haul than usual because we have Nana's birthday on Wednesday and my in-laws are all coming over for dinner. Part one, we can do it. Let's go. I made my shopping list by sections of the store. I'm going to start in the back of the store, but they don't carry Dixie's brand of puppy food, so I'll have to get that at Petco, I guess. We're running low on paper towels again because, you know, how's training a puppy? I like the paper towels that come in three different sizes so the kids can just take a small little sheet and not use a giant roll of paper towels every time. We also need tissues for these New York spring allergies. I forgot I needed napkins too. Foil. They're almost out of gallon bags, but here's a set. This is not the Wegmans I usually shop at, so everything's in a different place. I'm trying to find garbage bags. Found them. We go through a lot of garbage bags in our house. I definitely think I'm walking around in circles. I have not found 409 in like a month. Do they not make it anymore? It's honestly the best thing after we use our stovetop griddle to get all of the grease off. And we go through a lot of this with house training the puppy. Time to get olives for my Spanish tapas platter on Monday. I'm going to go with the Mazetta brand. We use so much olive oil every week, it's crazy. Gotta get the weekly supply of ketchup and ranch. I'm looking for a certain kind of almonds and I never knew there were so many different kinds. Grabbed a few more things for the charcuterie board Monday and some more popcorn. I didn't really think about it when I planned the menu, but we're having rice with three meals this week. I love this red beans and rice mix. Oh my gosh, I could eat the entire thing myself, but I guess I'll share. And I need some Spanish rice for the paella I'm making on Monday. That fills up cart one, so I'm going to go leave that up by the manager stand, grab my grocery list, and another cart. Next stop, produce. Lemons and limes. This was the last bag of family pack oranges. The oranges right now have been so good. The grapes at this Wegmans look so much better than the grapes at the last store. I'm gonna get some black grapes. My kids like those as a special treat sometimes. And a big bag of green grapes. Let's check it over. Nope, mm -mm, no. How about this one hidden back here? No. <laughs> How about this bag way back here? Winner, winner. Cauliflower for dinner on Thursday. And some pears. Fun fact, Jason always wants to like pears, but <laughs> he just doesn't. I know the peaches are not in season, but I'm going to go see if I can find a few that are acceptable. Look good, but you know me, I'm going to inspect it. There is nothing I hate more than getting home and realizing I bought rotten produce. That one's okay. Nope. I'm getting asparagus next. I like the really thin stalks and Josh likes the really thick ones. So I think I'm just going to get something in between. This'll do. I need some green squash. 
and a few different kinds of tomatoes. Alex and I really like these small ones to snack on. I think I'll get some cherry tomatoes this week. And mushrooms. The kids have been saying that the green apples are too sour right now, so I'm going to just get a few bags of red apples this week. Eight pounds of red delicious. And eight pounds of empire. Spring mix. I love this big pack. And I need onions already. I'm gonna get this big bag and hope it lasts me the month. I need some fresh thyme. Can't forget the bananas. These look really good this week. Do your kids love the stickers on the bananas as much as mine do? That's it for produce. I'm gonna go get the bread next. I'm not going to get all the bread for the week today because it's been going bad too fast. So I'm going to get three loaves of that, Hawaiian rolls, bagels. I am out of the brand of B12 I like. And apparently the store is too. We go through a lot of toothpaste every week. Also need a new toothbrush for James because Jordan accidentally used James's toothbrush. <laughs> Kids toothpaste. And more of Harley's little rubber bands for her pigtails. I'm going to get some more hand soap because mine keeps disappearing from my bathroom. I'm prepared this week. Several of my kids have reflux, so I need medicine for them. Part three. I'm going to get store-bought lobster bisque for Nana's birthday on Wednesday, but this one is way too small, so I'll go to Costco for that another day. Lately, I've been grabbing some pre-made sandwiches to have in the fridge for people to grab. I personally love the chicken Caesar wrap. If you know me by now, you know I won't leave Wegmans without getting avocado roll. I need four pounds of shrimp for dinners this week. And I can't help it, I always look at the lobster tank even when I don't have kids with me. I need chicken breasts. I usually get two family packs of chicken breasts. One is just not enough for our family of 12. I'd rather have leftovers that I can eat for lunch the next day instead of not enough. I want to show you the meat mix I get for my homemade meat sauce because people didn't believe me, but they do sell it. It's called meatloaf mix and it's a mixture of veal, pork, and beef all mixed together. I'm going to get three pounds of that for Sunday's sauce. Here's where things get interesting. We have steak night this week. But between the 12 of us, we like five different cuts of steak. A few of the kids like strip steak, so I'm gonna get a pack of four of that. Most of the kids like flank steak, so I'm gonna get one of those. Some of my kids like cube steak because it's not chewy like the other cuts of steak. So I'm gonna get four packs of cube steak. Josh likes the porterhouse cut. And I like ribeye. I like when the ribeye is really marbly, so I'm gonna get this pack of four because a couple of the other kids like the ribeye cut too. Otherwise, they'll steal all of mine. So if you did the math, steak night costs us $160. 
six pounds of sausage. And we almost always need bacon in our house. I like the center cut bacon. I'm the opposite with bacon. I like it not marbly. I'm gonna get three pounds of bacon. We can eat that in one meal. I need some fancy ham for my Spanish tapas platter on Monday. I gotta get Josh his bologna. And cheese. And I am gonna get some roast beef for myself because this looks good. I need a few more meats for charcuterie boards. Ham for Alex and Patrick's sandwiches. Burritos for chicken fajitas on Tuesday. I'm gonna get two packs of 16 because we tend to have extra people for dinner on Tuesdays. Cream cheese for the red velvet cheesecake frosting, plus cream cheese for the kids' bagels. I just remembered we're out of spreadable butter. Some of the kids like that on their bagels too. I always get a few bricks of cheese for the daily charcuterie boards. The kids really like Colby Jack. I usually get one of the cheddar flavors. And my favorite is Swiss cheese, so I'm gonna get one of those this week. I don't need too many yogurts because Josh got a bunch of those last week, but I do know that I'm out of Alex's peach yogurts. I wish I would have remembered to get eggs when I was at Walmart yesterday. I love their five dozen pack, but I'm just gonna have to get six dozen here, and that will supplement in with the eggs that our chickens lay at home. I'm gonna pick a hummus flavor, but there's always so many choices. This is hard for me to decide. Let's go with everything bagel. Might be good. I happen to notice that Blendettes were on sale and I've been wanting more of those. So I'm definitely going to get another one of those. I need more baking soda because one of my kids decided to dump out the entire box the other day. I almost always need flour. I've been making a ton of bread in our bread maker lately. I always need chocolate chips. And this week I think I'll get purple jello. I need six cake pans to make red velvet cake on Wednesday, and these disposable ones are really helpful to have for that. Crushed red pepper. And we always seem to need all of the cream of soups. My kids love applesauce pouches and canned fruit. That fills up this cart, so I'm going to leave it up near the manager stand and grab cart four. Part four. I just realized I forgot clementines when I got the produce cart. Over to the cereal. A lot of my kids like cinnamon toast crunch. James and Patrick like frosted shredded wheat. Gotta get some waffle mix. It's National Waffle Day on Friday. And some more syrup, since my kids like to pour the entire bottle onto their plate. I almost forgot my cereal. I like the honey bunches of oats with the strawberries in it, and Josh likes the plain one. Okay, I'm super excited. I have not seen Rolos in stock in months. Definitely getting... I need buttermilk for Nana's red velvet cake on Wednesday. This is from a local dairy in our town, so I'm gonna get this brand. They are out of caramel macchiato creamer again. I'll have to settle for French vanilla this week. 
I forgot to do a milk inventory before I left, so I'm only going to get a few gallons in case we have an overstock at home. I love these big family packs of chips. More chips. More chips. I am out of taco seasoning, so I'm gonna get some of that. Jason and Jordan love their queso. And we always need crackers and cheeses. Over to the freezer section. I'm gonna stock up on frozen veggies. I love these five, six pound bags because this will last two dinners for us. We got corn, peas, and broccoli. I did not get everything on my list, but I do have four full carts and it's getting late. So I'm gonna check out for today and get the rest tomorrow. Any order over $750 here has to get approved by the manager, so I always have to get approved by the manager. All right, I am going to go get the van and pull up to load it in. Do you see what I mean, how it's covered? I mean, not that rain is going to hurt me, but still, it's nice to not get soaking wet. I don't think that time of day is going to work moving forward. I'm going to have to get up Saturday mornings and grocery shop. You were just wiped out of so much stuff being the end of a weekend. And here is what the haul looks like all sorted out. This makes my OCD brain so happy. 12 cans of cream of six boxes of rice, a bunch of olives, a family pack of tissues, a family pack of paper towels, all of the produce, which totaled over 61 pounds of fresh produce and 16 pounds of frozen. The dairy was small this week because we had a stock up from last week. Cereal and snacks were also small because I'm going to get some of that at Costco. And the bread is for about three days. This week's receipt was definitely one of our higher totals, but that's because there's a steak night and Nana's birthday where we're having my in-laws over to eat. So it's okay. Every week is not this high. All right, that is the end of today. I'm gonna have to show you where I put everything away tomorrow because this has taken too long. So thanks for joining me shopping for my family of 12. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you tomorrow.